Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and this is where I help you find your voice and create music with your drums. Today we're gonna break down a very useful and tasty splash lick played by Eric Moore. If this video helps you out at all, hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel for more great content just like this. Let's get into this lesson. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you find this lick useful. If you look down in the description, you will find a link to the PDF for this video. Also, if you don't wanna always be clicking the links in the PDFs, you can join my mailing list and I will send you new PDFs whenever they come out right into your email box. With that being said, let's jump into the lesson. A Couple of weeks ago, I was checking out a video on Eric Moore's channel where he's playing at a sound check. And amongst some amazing licks, Eric plays this really nice lick off of the splash cymbal several times. And it's a lick that I think is accessible to a lot of us and also is useful to a lot of us. A lot of the things that Eric plays are amazing and they're great, but they're not super useful to me in the context that I'm playing in all the time unless I'm doing a drum solo. But let's take a listen to that lick right now. As you can hear, it's a great sounding lick and I showed you a few different places where he plays it and a few different variations. I'm gonna show you what the main lick is and then how you might apply this to your own playing. The first thing we're gonna check out is the groove that Eric is playing. So it's pretty simple. It's just kick on one and three, snare on two and four, and then he's alternating between a triplet and a 30 second note on the hi-hat. So let me demonstrate that for you. Pretty simple, just a 16th note triplet at the end of beat two and a double stroke roll after beat four. Then Eric gets into this lick. The first time Eric introduces this motif, it's just straight down the toms on the end of one, the end of two, the end of three, and then he plays the end of four on his gong drum or his really low kind of bass drum looking drum. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna play that twice on my floor tom, but this is just gonna get us into the way that this lick feels. So it sounds like this. The next time we hear this lick, Eric adds in some really tasty elements that I think that you can add into almost any groove that you're playing in any style. So as this lick starts, beats one and two are exactly the same as the introduction. You have one and two and, and then we get into the lick. So it's just beats three and four that we're gonna worry about. Beat three is where this lick really happens. So we're gonna open high out with the bass drum together on beat three. And on the end of three, we're gonna go to the floor tom and then two kicks as a 16 note triplet. So we'll have three, three and a four, back to the hi-hat. Now I suggest practicing that over and over and over and getting that into your playing, something like this. Once that's feeling comfortable, we'll add in the last part of the lick. So after you play three, three and uh, when you come back for the four, you're gonna do open hi-hat again with the snare. So you're gonna have four and four and uh to the splash cymbal. So the closing of the hi-hat, if you play it right, you can get an extra stroke. You can play four, a uh, four and uh. So four, a uh, four and uh. Four, a uh, four and uh. So let me play the whole lick for you slow so you can hear what it sounds like. Now a little bit faster. There's the lick the way that Eric played it. Here's some ways that I suggest you use this. One, just take that triplet idea on the uh four, we're playing four and uh, going back into one. You can play that on any beat, just that section like this. Uh, 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 
You can add the floor tom kick kick going to the snare at any part of your groove. So I encourage you to take the elements of this fill and apply them to your own grooves so that you're not just taking a lick that Eric played and like plugging it into your own beats, but you're taking ideas from another drummer and you're taking those and you're incorporating them into your own playing so that you sound like you. I don't want you to sound like Eric Moore. I don't want you to sound like me. I want you to sound like you. So take this lick, play it off the ride cymbal, play it off the toms, play it from low to high, play it from high to low, play it all on one tom. Do a bunch of different things with it until you find something that you love and then make that your go-to lick, not exactly what you just learned from me. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out. Please give this video a like if it did and consider subscribing to this channel. Again, in the description below, you'll find a link to my email list. You'll also find a link to the PDF on my website. And if you wanna check out a couple more of the Eric Moore licks that I've taught, click this video right up here. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Keep on drumming and keep having fun. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next one.